once again welcome to medico mallu this time we are going to discuss the practical performa of the cardiovascular system that is a cvs first of all the examination of the cardiovascular system as usual we have to start with general examination whether there is any pallor ectrocyanosis clubbing and lymphadenopathy vitals we have to check and also jvp jugular venal pulsation whether it is visible or not visible and if it is visible whether it is elevated or not that we have to mention pulse we have to define we have to uh, tell its rate and uh, we, the rhythm whether it is regular or irregular if it is irregular whether it is regularly irregular or irregularly irregular like in f the volume we have to tell and by just palpating the carotid artery whether it is normal or low or high and character we have to define whether it is a normal character the normal character is catacrotic or if there is an abnormality like anacrotic dicrotic pulses bisphereensis or water hammer pulsation the condition of the vessel wall we have to tell whether it is thickened or normal and we have to check whether there is any radio radio delay or any radio femoral delay and other pulsations we have to check with peripheral vessels like carotid artery femoral artery dorsalis pedis and posterior tibial artery and also there is popliteal artery which is very difficult to palpate the carotid artery we can palpate at the level of the thyroid cartilage against the transverse processes of the c6 vertebra the femoral artery at the midpoint between anterior superior iliac spine and the pubic tubercle dorsalis pedis we have to palpate against the tarsal bones in the first intermetatarsal space and the posterior tibial artery it is around 1 cm behind the medial malleolus of the leg and coming to the cvs proper inspection the shape of the precordium whether it is bulging whether there is any discoloration whether any retraction is present or not the apex beat whether it is visible and uh, any other pulsations dilated veins or scars that we have to tell regarding the palpation apex beat we have to palpate its character must be noted like normal or it is tapping or whether it is heaving etc and we have to report the apex beat like apical impulse is felt in the fifth or sixth left or right intercostal space mostly it is left uh, dash centimeter around a uh, half an inch away from the mid clavicular line medially or laterally and it is heaving or tapping in character and parasternal heave we have to look if it is present it will be left side left parasternal heave left parasternal heave is suggestive of right ventricular hypertrophy and we have to examine it with the ulnar border of our palm and percussion it's very simple it is to locate the hard border and just to rule out whether there is any cardiomegaly or any pericardial effusion we have to percuss from the left mid axillary line at the fourth or fifth intercostal space coming percussing medially to reach the apex then from the right side the right border of the heart is located we have to percuss from the right mid clavicular line coming to the medially and the usual reporting is like this the left hard border corresponds to the apex beat which is present in uh, like fifth or sixth left intercostal space half inch medial to the mid clavicular line uh, like that and the right border of the heart corresponds to the right sternal edge and this is the normal case coming to the auscultation we have to tabulate it this is more impressing and like mitral tricuspid pulmonary first aortic and neo aortic or the second aortic area we have to tabulate against this s1 s2 uh, that is this first heart sound second heart sound third one s3 s4 any murmurs or any added sounds and we have to tabulate like s1 it is present and in normal in mitral or like uh, s1 is present but reduced in tricuspid likewise we have to tabulate here and s2 it is uh, present or absent or it may be increased or decreased and s3 absent or present like that and also murmur if it is present you can write present and also there is any early systolic any diastolic murmur like yes we have to locate at each and every area and whether there is any added sounds present or absent if it is present which is the one and coming to the murmurs if there is any murmur we should not miss it because the examiner must be expecting us to tell or report the murmur and if you are hearing any murmur we have to check whether it is systolic diastolic or if it is a continuous murmur and uh, if it is present then the duration also must be noted must be 
ruled out whether it is an ejection or any pan or early or late example ejection systolic murmur or pan systolic murmur etc the grade also we have to check the, that we can see later and the radiation of the murmur the radiation of the murmur can be conduction type or transmission the transmission is actually called as the radiation but for common usage general usage we use radiation for this conduction actually it is the murmur heard at another site with the same or increased intensity transmission the actual radiation of the murmur is the murmur is heard at another site with reduced intensity and also we have to look whether the intensity is increasing on the left lateral position or while the patient is leaning forward etc regarding the grading of the murmur it is based on the intensity grade one murmur is the murmur heard by an experienced listener in a quiet surrounding with a stethoscope it is not heard immediately grade two means a soft murmur which is immediately audible in quiet surroundings with a stethoscope grade three is a prominent murmur and grade four is a loud murmur with thrill if we are getting a thrill it means it is of grade four grade five is a still louder murmur heard with the edge of the stethoscope just touching the chest grade six means the murmur is heard with the stethoscope if even if it is held off the chest or it is heard even without a stethoscope and this is the grading of murmur and that we have to distinguish and write down and regarding the other sounds added sounds it can be ejection click there can be an opening snap and other sounds ejection click and opening snap are heard at valvular heart disease like ar as msmr like that other sounds are pericardial rub there can be a prosthetic valvular heart sound the summary or report should be like this this is a case of congenital or acquired valvular heart disease that is can uh, aortic or mitral with a stenosis or regurgitation in the valve mostly due to rheumatic in origin with or without pulmonary hypertension or whether the patient is in congestive cardiac failure or without the congestive cardiac failure and is in sinus rhythm the reporting or the summary should include the anatomical location of the lesion that is mitral tricuspid aortic or pulmonary the structural abnormality that is whether it is stenosis or regurgitation the etiological cause rheumatic or congenital the complications like pulmonary hypertension congestive cardiac failure or subacute bacterial endocarditis if it is present we have to write it down and lastly the rhythm patient is in sinus rhythm or in dysarrhythmia and the summary should include all this and this is the concise practical performer of cardiovascular system thank you